Welcome to the new sound of Kiba. Kiba Live is new for 2019. We brought some new music on, we've got some new interviews, and we've got a lot more. So stay tuned for the new Kiba Live. Welcome back to Keep Alive. I'm your host, William Lee, podcaster, podcast producer, and the founder of Kiba, the digital marketing service for social media. Today, I'm going to talk about a very, very important subject that needs to come out and be discussed in conversation. That's human trafficking. Did you know the state of Washington is number nine, number nine in the United States for this heinous crime? Just the other day, I noticed that the governor did bring out his proposed budget for the state of Washington for 2019. It was quite interesting that the whales, orca whales, get $1.4 billion if his budget's accepted versus the low amount of money that's being put into human services. I guess we in Olympia don't have any problems like human trafficking or uh, child abuse or any criminal action along those lines at all. Uh, obviously the whale is a little bit more important than our children at home. I would wish that he would uh, reconsider his thoughts on this particular subject and look a little bit harder into what's going on in the human trafficking area. Being number nine in the United States is not a badge of honor to wear on your coat. It is a sign that there is a problem that needs to be corrected. Now, what is human trafficking? Human trafficking is simply defined as recruitment, transport, transfer, harboring to do what needs to be done through abduction or fraud. Isn't that interesting? Now, there's a lot of classifications of child or adult trafficking. And you have to look at this business, and that's what it is, folks, a $30 billion business a year. $30 billion a year. It's pretty impressive. It only falls under the ratings of illegal drugs, which beats it out simply by a few billion dollars. What do we do to uh, combat something of this size? Well, in the articles that I've read so far, the biggest way to combat human trafficking is simply reporting it or having a conversation that ends up a report to a volunteer organization that can try to rescue these people. I know you're going to say, well, Bill, you're going out on the limb again. But I can't uh, honestly think in my own mind that if I didn't speak out to start this conversation about the people who right now, the children that are literally in cages somewhere locked away, they're going to be sold for sex toys for businessmen in Europe or United States, who knows where. I can't believe that anybody could really forget or lock out of their minds the women that are forced into prostitution, that are forced into pornography, that are forced into these sexual areas of delightment and entertainment for men or women. It's hard for me also to think about the young children and or women whose body parts are on the chopping block literally for sale by these traffickers that can make hundred thousand dollars if they have the right crew and the right parts to be sold those human organs eyeballs lungs kidneys livers and i can go on but it would make me too sick to continue that particular conversation human trafficking is a major business it is a business that rakes an individual in his pocket, $4,500 on an average sale in the United States for another human being. Now, the upkeep is naturally very reasonable. Cost of shackles aren't too out of, well, lying. And buying these new dog cages that are outside with the wonderful doors that you can lock down make great hotel suites for those children that you're locking away in a basement or in a cellar until you can find the right price for the right person. I mean, look at it that way. These traffickers also use a complete training course on how they can dehumanize their victims, how they can take all their rights away from them. They learn how to beat them with coat hangers or iron cords or a bar of soap in a nylon that they can use to just 
beat and beat and beat until they get their their victims senseless and making sure that they're going to stick out the actual policy and perform in the best possible manner. Why? Have you ever met any of these people, by the way? Have you ever had the opportunity to sit down and talk or have coffee with one that has been has been rescued? Well, this is something that we need to discuss. Now, here's the factors that are going to really upset you probably a little bit more. First of all, we've received in the state of Washington over 6,000 complaints last year, in 2017, I should say, from the National Human Trafficking Hotline. And out of that, 6,244 cases of sex trafficking alone were actually documented and reported. What industries were they reported from? Well, according to public record, as it stands, we'll find that 1,572 cases to be exact, of the reports regarding sexual trafficking pertain to escort services. Another 508 cases were documented that were from, guess what, folks, massage parlors. Isn't that kind of interesting? And 329 were related to outdoor solicitation, either into the sex industry or into forced labor. You see, we can find human trafficking victims in most illicit businesses, those that are strip clubs or uh, adult clubs, adult entertainment clubs, and etc. Now, according to Share uh, Hope International, which is a great organization trying to stop or slow down trafficking through education and awareness, has made this statement that in August of 2005 through December 2006, Out of 112 minors that were trafficked from state to state, many of them into Nebraska, for prostitution, eight of these victims were from the state of Washington. Eight individual children and or mothers or dads or daughters, eight of them were the victims of sexual trafficking. So I don't want you to think that trafficking is just one sex, or one generation. I want you to understand that trafficking, as it stands right now, the victims of American children are all races, all ages, all different backgrounds. In the ages from, are you ready? Infants to teens. That's right. And right now, they have discovered that an average young lady that's put out into the street, or a young man, they charge up to $400 per hour in the American streets for sexual favors. Human rights investigations also have discovered that Myers were sold 10 to 15 times a day, six days a week, totaling between 9,360 to 14,040 acts sexual activity. That's right, 40 times a day. Now, 12 is the average age to enter into the porno or what we call the wonderful uh, industry of of uh, prostitution, but their ages uh, are often mislabeled. One out of five in the pornography business are children. That's right, children. The sale of children in pornography becomes a three billion dollar industry. I thought you'd like to know over one hundred thousand websites offer right now children pornography. Fifty five percent of the internet children pornography comes from the USA. Now, let's go back to the fact that Washington State is number nine. So even though it's important to talk about saving the orca whales, it's also important to talk about what we can do for funding and what we can do to help stop sex trafficking in our state. Now, this is one of a series of shows that are coming up in the near future where I'll be talking to people that actually were sex slaves. I'll be talking to people, women or children that have been abused sexually or mentally, who have got now PTSD and are fighting to come back to survival. These people need our help. These people need to know that there is hope, that there is truth, that the lies that they are being fed are nothing but false, and that they can get help because there are people that love them and care about them and are going to go the extra mile to free them. Please take time Think about this opportunity for you to help someone else. It's a simple task, but a glorious one called having a conversation. 
I appreciate you being with us. This is our first of the 2019 shows, and we really look forward to talking with you again soon. In close, I'd also like to thank our sponsors, the Wild Child Group, B&G Sponsored Events, our good friends over at S&B Kelgan Water of Piala. Thank you for helping us start a conversation. No matter how dark the world seems to get, remember one thing. There's always a bright light if you keep a smiling. Thank you.